Hello everyone and welcome back to Living with Mangos. I am Juan Carlos, the school teacher, and this is my son Francisco. And today we are gonna talk about this mango here. This is the Kesar mango. The Kesar mango is from South India. It is now grown worldwide as a commercial scale mango from India. The people in India love it, just like they love the Alfonso. Kesar appeals and appears to perform uh, fairly well in the climate of South Florida. So it produces, it, it does fairly well in the warm climate of South Florida. But here I am in Central Florida trying to grow a Kesar mango. The Alfonso mango is growing well for me and the Kesar mango is growing well for me. So that's a good thing. The fruit is somewhat small and medium in size, ovoid oblong in shape and develops yellow color with some pinkish red blush at maturity. The flesh is fiberless, but we will see, see if it's fiberless. It's supposed to be a sweet and spicy mango as well. I'm looking forward to tasting some of those spices there. The seed is monoembryonic. The trees are medium growers with spreading canopy. And Kesar is a mid-season mango, ripening from late June through July. The tree is somewhat, somewhat anthracnose resistant, but it is accept, susceptible to powdery mildew. The flavor is an Indian Alfonso flavor with spices. It is supposed to be very sweet as well. So there goes the information on this Kesar mango. Look at that Kesar mango. Now, just like the Julie mango, the Kesar mango, we, ha we had so many mangoes that we were doing, it started to get a little bit too dark up on the top here. And hopefully uh, this area is not affected inside by this. So now it's time for the taste test. Let's start with smelling this mango. It has a good flowery smell to it. Smell that. Mm -hmm. Nice flowery smell, right? It is a smooth flowery smell on this mango. Okay, let's see how it cuts. Okay, here we go. The top piece got a little messed up, as you can see. So we're gonna cut that little top piece off, but the rest of the mango looks very good. See, the rest of the mango looks very good. So we're gonna cut that little piece off on the top. Okay, let's put this to the side. Cut this in half. All right, son, take that piece. Let's do the smell. See how this smells? Ooh, Ooh. it does smell spicy. Mm -hmm. This is the first mango that I can say that it really smells spicy. Some of them claim to have spices, but I haven't tasted any spice, but this one actually smells Heavenly, wow. I would use I would use that term. This Kesar mango smells heavenly. What do you think, son? Mm -hmm. I had to agree with you there. That smells amazing. It's an amazing smell, right? Woo! And it's a beautiful looking mango too. It's a shame that it got a little bit of that uh, that little uh, I, I would say a little rot on the top. But the rest of the mango looks very very good. It looks delicious. Okay, son, you want to try it first? Tell me what you think. Mmm. Has a coconut taste. It also has a coconut taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. It's really good. I'm not getting any of the spicy. Okay, so it smells spicy, but you're not getting spiciness. Mm -mm. Does it taste different from all the others, or is it very similar to some of the others? Uh, I wouldn't say very similar, but I, I would definitely say it's similar because of the, the coconut taste. Okay. It definitely tastes like a lot of mangoes we've had. Okay, good. So it's, it's, it's similar to a lot of the other mangoes. Let's see how this peels. Oh, it looks like it's a good peel. All right, look, it's a nice peel. Mm -hmm. It peels well. Mm. It doesn't look like it has much fiber at all. Look at that, almost no fiber. 
It is fiberless. Look at that. Peels nicely. Let's taste this. It does have a strong coconutty component, which is good. It is sweet, melts in your mouth, has a mango flavor. It has a little bit of uh, a cantaloupe flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Stronger coconut flavor as you get closer to the skin. Mm -hmm. Cantaloupe, coconut, sweetness scale in bricks. I would say it's a good seven to seven and a half in sweetness, meaning that it's mid mark in the twenties when it comes to the sugar scale for the mangoes. Good, good sugar content. Mm. Nice skin. Uh, the closer you get to that skin, mm, strong coconut, very strong coconut flavor. I was surprised about that. I was expecting more spices. I don't really taste that, that many spices here at all. Maybe, maybe if I was to take it Earlier. a little greener, but they say that the Kazar should be yellow. It should be yellow like this um, when it's ready. But it's a good, decent mango. It's a good, decent mango. It's there with Alfonso, those Indian mangoes. Let's taste the skin. Skin's actually good. Like, it's, it's good. Like, I, I could eat the skin, like, along with the mango. Yeah. If you eat it with the flesh, it's okay. But when you eat it alone like this, it doesn't really have a lot of taste. Yeah. It's just that leafy... Uh, taste like lettuce right yeah yeah like the iceberg lettuce but look at that i would say about from all the mangoes that we've tasted i would say that this case i had the least amount of fiber out of all of them mm, they almost they almost didn't have any fiber at all it was the least fibrous mango we've had so far it's a good mango it's a good overall mango so son let's grade this one Kent, two, uh, excuse me, one Tommy Hopkins, two Kent, three Kit, three, four Kit, 10, the best sugar loaf, 10, the best um, orange, orange sherbet. Where would you grade this mango, Kazar? I'd probably put it right up there with um, the Julie. Okay, so you found it similar to Julie? Yeah, it was a, a nice mango. Both of them were supposed to have like tiny, spicy uh, yeah. tones, and we, I didn't, we really get, much didn't of that. get any tones either from the Julie or the Kazar. But it tasted uh, similar to it, and it wasn't a bad mango. I'd, I'd definitely give it a seven and a quarter to a seven and a half. So you give it the same thing you gave the Julie? To me, I think uh, Julie won me over better. It had a stronger coconutty flavor and had a, a deeper, richer taste, the Julie. The Kazar was slightly behind that Julie, so the Kazar turned out to be better than what I expected. Um, I would give the Kazar a solid seven. A seven for the Kazar today, this particular Kazar. Maybe next time we'll try it a little greener so that we could see if there's anything different that comes about from mm -hmm. that. So Kazar, y'all, seven. The Julie was a seven and a half. Anything else you want to say, son? Um, I I agree with you on uh, having to get this a little earlier because that it's a shame that it. Yeah, got it's a that, it's uh, a shame that it got a little bit of that stuff. But sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's just uh, the makeup of the mango, and it's not always the shelf life. It's sometimes the makeup of the mango. Talking about shelf life, the Kazar and the Alfonso in India. They're known to also be commercial type mangoes. So they have a decent shelf life, not a long shelf life like these uh, supermarket mangoes like Tommy and, and uh, Kent and stuff like that. But they do in India, they do have a decent shelf life and they, use, they do use it as a commercial variety over in India. So 
With that said, I'm Juan Carlos, the school teacher. This is my son, Francisco. And with that, we are out. Peace. Living with mangoes. mangoes.